If you're wanting to feel more safe, more connected, more empowered, and more liberated from within, no matter where you are on your healing journey, it is so important and crucial that you stop fighting against yourself, that you stop resisting and shaming who you are, how you feel, and what you need. And this is why I love inner child work and somatic healing, because somewhere in your upbringing, you learned that who you are, how you feel, and what you need is somehow wrong, bad, or invalid. And because of this, you learn to suppress who you authentically are. You learn to hide parts of yourself. You learn to suppress your needs. You learn to suppress your emotions. And you became whoever you needed to be in order to get your needs met, in order to feel some sense of safety, self, belonging, worth, and love. Which is why as an adult, you may feel very disconnected from your authentic self, from your truth, your worth, your love, your power. It's not that you don't have it. It's within you. It's that you need to reconnect to the truth of who you are underneath the layers of the pain and the trauma that you've gone through. Of course, not a single TikToker hasn't been hurt or traumatized or doesn't need to go on a healing journey to get over the bad thing that happened when her mom didn't want her to buy her ice cream when she was 10. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to see men refusing to pay is making modern women furious. Let's start. So I feel like Instagram's definitely telling people when you're stalking them now, which is unfortunate. Either that or we live in a simulation and my producer is really lacking right now. So the other night I was having a conversation with someone about this story. Current events, if you will. We weren't gossiping because it was factual information. Anyway, the person I was talking to was like, oh, like, what does this person look like in the story? So I showed them a photo. I was already following this person. We were talking, person let's call them person one. I was already following person one um, on Instagram. So I was like, yeah, this is what they look like, blah, blah, blah. Just so you can get a visual of the story that we're having right now. Anyway, all good. And then there was a second person in the story um that i wasn't following and so like i went to go have a little sneaky stalkeroo they were on private damn looked at the little like dp all good whatever moved on with our lives tell me why less than 24 hours later person one who i already had on instagram messaged me not like about the story or anything they just messaged me like randomly like i haven't spoken to this person in like maybe three years I know you're thinking, oh, maybe just coincidence. Like, that's just a silly little coincidence. But then person two, who I don't follow, and also please keep in mind, person one and person two are not talking right now. There's a bit of tea going on. Person two followed me. Like, that is not a coincidence. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Stalking is now monitored. Be safe out there. It seems like this stupid bed wench doesn't know that IG will tell the person whose story she viewed who she is. But then again, aren't these thoughts your strong suit? When a woman is alpha widowed, it means that a man has left his mark on her in more than one way. He owns her mind, body, and soul. She will always think about him, even if it was not long ago. If a woman you're seeing seems like this, you should leave. If that alpha takes her back out of the blue, she'll go back to him. Whether you tell her or not, it doesn't matter how well you treat her, how long you've been together, if you saved her life, or if you have a bus full of kids with her. You actually only need two things to be an unusually seductive, attractive, compelling person. And it doesn't actually matter what your stats are, how rich, how good looking, what you do for a living. You can literally gaslight people into believing that you are a special person whom they want in their lives. The first one is act like your life is awesome. And that's not the same thing as acting as though your life is perfect. Most people are kind of passive and discontented and always wonder if they'd be happier if things were a little bit different. And if you simply act at peace with yourself and the life that you've chosen, people are going to wonder what your sauce is. Simply being free from grass is greener syndrome automatically sets you apart from 99.9% .9 of the human population. There is so much power over acknowledging the imperfections and hardships of your life, but taking ownership and saying, I chose this and I'm at peace with it. And if you execute this successfully, you are automatically the equal of anyone in the room simply because you are living the life that you chose. Okay, that's great. But how am I unusually blah, 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 if everyone else in the room is the same way? 
They're all unusually blah 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 like me. Plus, you said at the beginning of the video that you only needed two things, but you forgot about the second one in less than a minute. Would you rather have eggs or fries? Yes. Because my baby daddy is out here running his mouth in these streets, so let's go ahead and pop it off, okay? Because you out here telling people that you give me $500 a month, but you don't give me a goddamn thing. Not a nothing. Not a nada. These right here, these right here I had to buy yesterday, okay? You ain't seen your motherfucking kid in over a month over some shit that happened that you out here telling people it's a motherfucking sunburn, but really, the doctor ruled it as a burn. And the reason why I have temporary custody is because you have no motherfucking explanation on where it came from or how it happened. But what CPS did do was give you the option to have supervised visits, but you won't take them. Okay, but where are these at though? Where are these at? Because even if, okay, even if that's the situation, which it is, okay, even if that was the situation when it came to me, I'ma still do everything I need to do when it comes to my child, right? Where's this at? Where they at? Where you at, bro? Where the fuck you at? Cause you ain't here. You ain't here and you ain't doing it. The only thing you doing is manipulate motherfuckers around you into believing you something that you motherfucking not. Like that's what the fuck you best at. Your daily affirmations of what you tell yourself every single day is out of this motherfucking world. Okay? You can't even finesse me into giving a fuck that you popping out with the next motherfucking bitch that you probably going around and manipulating other bitches into believing that that's your motherfucking foster sister as if y'all ain't fucking. But you can't even finesse me in the right ways to give a fuck because you don't do what the fuck you need to do when it comes to my child. Okay? You out here telling people all oh, she's selling her shit. Is you salty, bro? Is you salty? Because see, don't nobody know that I had you make your own motherfucking page so I can so I can sell the content. Don't nobody know that though, do they? Don't nobody know that you was begging me for my content. Don't nobody know that the reason why I have not talked to you in the last motherfucking month is because I ain't cut you off. Me. That was my doing, not yours. Not motherfucking yours. You over there talking about all oh, it's hard to co-parent with a retard. Bitch, when do you co-parent? When do you even parent? Okay? You can't even distinguish his and he's in a motherfucking sentence, bitch. You want to be funny? You want to hee hee har har? Just make sure that you're more funnier than me before we start going, okay? Just make sure you're funnier than me. You cannot even finesse me in the right motherfucking ways to give a fuck about the next fucking bitch and that's all you want to do. That's all you want to fucking do. That's all. You How many times in the last month have you took your spark car and rolled over to the next person's house? How many times? But you couldn't roll over and get your kids some motherfucking diapers. Regardless of how you felt. Regardless of how you felt. Why is it? Why is it that you continue to run your bitch ass mouth? But I'm the one that's out here doing it day in and day motherfucking out. You salty as fuck. You salty as fuck because I don't need you. I don't need you. You out here talking about how you get it out the mud. Bitch, you wouldn't have had to get it out the mud 45 times if you would have treated the bitches that you was with right in the motherfucking first place, bitch. You out here popping out with a bitch when really you should be popping out with some motherfucking diapers. And I ain't hating because that bitch is fresher than you are. Okay? The creases in your motherfucking shirt, they match the creases in your Air Forces. Fix it, bitch. Fix it. Fix it. And keep my name out your mouth. Damn. One of the funniest things about the world is seeing white women try to act ghetto. She might have grown up in a middle class suburb, which wouldn't surprise me. There are white kids in Malibu who try to act like bad guys until they meet real thugs. When they do, they poop their pants and cry for their mom. It sounds like she had a child with Chad because she says he's seeing other women at the same time. It wouldn't surprise me if those women knew he was cheating on her and didn't care. They'd rather date one of the top 10% of men and be with him for a long time than be with a great man who is loyal and works hard. That's how people date in the West. Men are going MG Tao because of this. Any woman who says bro is definitely for the streets as is any woman who talks like a rapper. This woman as a whole is a walking red flag, as if being a single mom wasn't bad enough. For example, you can't call her a Decepticon because she swears a lot and has tattoos. If you don't see her red flags, you must be really stupid and blind. And I'm sorry to tell her this, but she did get fined. She slept with Chad, who was broke, and had his child. Say a lady should always cross her legs because showing the crotch area of your jeans that's a lady like the men will sniff it out, you know, it's too dangerous. What they don't tell you is if you don't stop crossing your legs, you're gonna get a twisted pelvis, one leg shorter than the other, and then no wonder you feel like you're walking around in circles. Honestly, I think it's a it's an agenda aimed at men still man spreading. And you know what? My labia needs to breathe too. I want to eat fish for dinner. I got a sudden urge to eat fish. That's not right. But anyway, how can I say this in the nicest way possible? You can talk about manspreading without coming off as a mansplainer. Sure, no one cares. Some people walk in circles, which might not be because one leg is shorter than the other. 
Maybe a part of your brain isn't fully formed yet. There might not be enough balance there. I just find it crazy how men want to like participate in the patriarchy, but they don't want to like participate in the patriarchy. My dad is one of the most patriarchal, misogynistic men that you can meet in the world. He's Jamaican. That should tell you all you need to know. He told me men were going to lie. He told me men were going to cheat. He told me they were going to have other families. He told me to expect those things from men. You know what he never told me a man was going to be? He never, ever, ever said that y'all would be broke. In fact, what was told to me is that because he's paying my bills and funding my lifestyle and taking care of me, that is why I should allow him to lie and cheat and have other families. He never said that I should be lied on and be broke. Cheated on and be broke. Now, he said they're going to take care of you, but they're going to lie and cheat on you. And that's patriarchy. Y'all don't want to pay for nothing. Participate or don't, baby. Okay. So I need to understand this. You're mad that you didn't get the full package of patriarchy that your dad promised? You don't like how modern men don't follow your dad's old cheat on you but pay your bills deal? It sounds like you miss the good old days when getting lied to and cheated on meant getting a credit card and living like a housewife. But here's an idea. Maybe men today aren't trying to follow that old harmful model. Some of them might really want partnerships based on mutual respect instead of old-fashioned deals where women give up their honor in exchange for money. It's not fair to ask modern men to take part in a broken system just so you can pay your bills and ignore the problem, right? You want them to believe in patriarchy, but you also want them to be honest and not cheat? It sounds like you're picking and choosing from a system that is flawed from the start. Now might be a good time to rethink what participating means. This is the last video for the day, guys. Kindly like and follow our channel if you want to see more videos like this. The next Mongtao video is almost done. Until then, have a nice day and say goodbye.